it's brutal. Not many words for it, just as I'm very tired, but it was brutal. I, I worked for this, I wanted it, thought about it, I just proceeded, got it done, just got it done. When did you decide to kind of get away from Trajan and the, and the other guy there? Well, it was kind of my intentions, you know, they're going to go out fast. I just needed to have a smart play and just take it in consideration that with that speed starting at the beginning, you just got to be ready to like just get it back in the finish, I guess. Yeah. This is a new course. I mean, uh, it, it, it was an, an experience. There. I, I don't even know what, where we're going or uphill, down or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, relatively flat course. Just, you know, it's a lot of ups and downs kind of on that second mile. You kind of hit a pretty lengthy hill and, you know, it really gets in your head that you just can't do it. But, you know, you just got to gotta think over that process and just it's, it's mind over matter. It really is. You know, you know you have the physical strength, but just it's a lot of mental game, too. Unofficially, you happy with your time? Yeah, I mean, wasn't just, I guess I wasn't thinking about the time, really. I, I was just thinking about the placement. You know, I had an injury in the middle of the season, just haven't got where I wanted with the PR and stuff. But, you know, I'm not too worried about it. You know, I'm just happy with the placement, I guess. When the season started, do you think it ended this way? No, absolutely not. I was um, ranked first in Wyoming, and, you know, I had, I, you know, zero injuries, and I was destroying in Montana as well. And, you know, I came here in the middle of the season, had a foot injury. You know, it doctor gave me an analysis and was saying that I would likely be out for the rest of the season, and I wanted a second opinion. I just didn't believe it. But I just kept running over it and just got it got through the injury and now I'm here. Well, what'd you think of your run today? Oh my gosh, it was crazy. I'm used to Warland's 4,000 foot elevation at the 6,000 foot. It was really hard to breathe the first mile, but after like mile and a half, it felt really great. Are you kind of amazed that you won this by such a long distance? Oh yeah, like all these competitors have been running them since my freshman year. They were all super crazy fast and I was just really expecting them to be like a close race, but it's just, I think the elevation really got us all. Last week at regionals, uh, Maya got you there. I mean, were, were you feeling okay? Oh, no, I had like the worst flu the days prior. And I was running in the mud mostly the whole time. And I just wasn't feeling good. My heart rate was too crazy. But she ran really good, though. I'm kind of glad she beat me. How does it feel to have your sister in the race and finish in the top 10? Oh, it feels amazing. It's great points for our team. Not to mention the two Tapia sisters just finishing top 10 at state. It's just a, it's just a great feeling. How'd you get started in distance running? Uh, I started in middle school, actually in fifth grade. We did like this mile and then my PE teacher said, you know what, you can do cross country in middle school. So I signed up and next thing you know, I'm here. When the season started, did you think it would end this way? No, I didn't know I'd finish top first. I know I'd get like a really good placing, but I never thought to get first place by like a huge gap. I never, not in my wildest dreams.